What's up guys? Welcome back to the Educated Barfly. Today we're coming at you with an original cocktail of mine uh, that I do at my bar, Cole's French Dip in downtown LA. So hey, if you're in LA, come and stop on down anytime Monday through Wednesday in the weekday and I'll be there. And I can make you for this, I can make you this drink in person. Um, this drink is called an Angel City Fizz, and I created it. Uh, when one of the Angel City reps uh, approached me a couple of years ago to make a beer cocktail for a Great Gatsby party that they uh, were going to do. So basically, uh, I put the old thinking cap on and came up with this um, beer fizz variation. Uh, beer, sorry, gin fizz variation with beer and rye whiskey and ginger syrup. Uh, and I hope you really like it. So let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is crack our egg. I like to use fresh eggs and I like to use whole eggs. I don't use egg whites that have already been separated. Um, I kind of feel like everything should be fresh. Let's hope that this goes well because I usually crack my egg all at the same time. There you go. That was a nice one. Didn't get any yolk in. Nice. And we'll just toss that aside. And you know what? I'm going to wipe my hands because I got a little egg white on it. Now, egg white cocktails. I got a little bit busted on the last egg white cocktail drink that I made. I think it was a whiskey sour uh, where someone pointed out that I, I said, oh, well, the, you don't have to worry about salmonella because the citrus and the alcohol will kill it. And actually, I got a little bit busted on that and I was a little bit wrong about that. Citrus and alcohol will kill salmonella, but it, but it takes a little while to actually do that. That being said, you don't have to worry about salmonella in egg white drinks because I've been making egg white drinks for over a decade. Uh, no one's ever gotten sick. And honestly, if you look at statistically, uh, salmonella only infects something like 1.5% of all eggs in the country. So you really don't have to worry about it as long as you're using pasteurized fresh eggs. Um, I just wanted to kind of clear the air and sort of, you know, gonna give you that information. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is three quarters an ounce of lime juice. And I forgot to take the top off, but three quarters of an ounce of ginger syrup. Okay, so I just mixed that all together. That's what's great about this jigger is that you can actually do three quarters and another three quarters. So three quarters lime, three quarters ginger syrup, and then just half an ounce of honey. We're gonna do 1.5 ounces of Old Overholt Bonded Rye. I like to do the 100 proof, and the reason why is because you really want that to be hot, spicy rye, because what we're basically doing is pairing the flavor profiles of the ginger, the rye, and the hoppiness of the IPA together in a fizz. All right, and then we're just gonna add that, and I like to lock our tin, right, and let it sit for 10 seconds, and you let the citrus go to work on the egg white. So just let it sit for 10 seconds. I'll go like this. Maybe Marius can, if you don't know who Marius is, Marius is our producer. Maybe he can edit in some like music. There we go. After 10 seconds, shake. Now you can shake to emulsify egg for as long as you want, but you only need a few seconds. The more you shake it, the more it's gonna aerate, as long as you have a good shake. All right, there we go. Now, for these cocktails, what I like to do is take one or two pieces of really high quality ice and throw it in there. Um, you don't really need to, know, to worry about it chilling too much because the beer is cold um, and you just wanna add the right amount of dilution. So I like to take like a nice sized cube of ice and throw it in there and really so that you get a better foam. And then what I do is I shake it until it's done. It's gonna take me a second to do that, but you shake it until it's completely dissolved in the drink. All right, that's about it. There you go. Oh, there we go. We got just a nice, nice foam. You don't have any ice in here, so you actually don't even have to use a strainer. You can just literally pour it in. And then here's another other trick that I like to do. So with the IPA, what I like to do is take the beer and actually pour it into the tin. And when the beer hits the tin, it's gonna foam up. Because really what you want, see how it foams up like that? Well, maybe you can't see it. 
So it foams up. You'll see it when I pour. And what you really want is that beer foam to finish the drink off. And then little lime peel garnish. And there you have it. The Angel City Fizz.